Okay, so hello and welcome back to another update video for my game. In this one I'm going to be showing you the three main things that I've done over the last day or so. Uh, I have implemented a bow mechanic, which I'm going to be expanding upon, making different kind of bows, arrows, ammunition. Currently it's just, uh, you know, you can spam fire, the physics isn't perfect, but it, it works and I can obviously just tweak things. Uh, I've also created a cool effect for the rock hurl ability, the one where the rock goes up in the air and then flies towards an enemy. I've created a cool animation shatter effect for that. And then uh, the enemies aren't Q people anymore, they're actually proper food enemies, which is the theme for this zone because it's based on gluttony. Uh, so the first thing, we've got burger guys, uh, if you didn't already see, we've got uh, these burger people here. They're doing their idle state now. Um, and obviously, yeah, most thing you'll see in here, I've only finished today or yesterday, so that there's still plenty of tweaking I can do over time, but they work. Um, I haven't actually modeled a bow, so the bow is just uh, this sword model. Yeah, uh, the reason why I'm showing you this, and I would normally do it in um, the actual built game, but I'm showing you in the in the uh, editor, is because I did build the game, but it caused quite a few problems. Like um, when I mouse over stuff, uh, this hover text doesn't appear, and my rock hold spell just wouldn't work at all. So I'm gonna have to do some like debugging in the uh, build mode because there there are some problems you get only in that for some annoying reason. Uh, so I'm gonna show you in this. So first of all, we'll show you the bow. So if I hold down the field of view stretches back, well, which means the field of view increases, and it stays like that until I release, like that. Uh, if I tap, it just goes straight down. The more I hold it, you know, further it goes, the more force. There is a limit on it, I can't just hold down forever, and then just, you know, it's got a maximum, which I can tweak, I can tweak the min and max. Uh, these enemies have a ranged attack, which the other ones didn't. He, like, throws his burger at me. Um, if he gets in melee range, he can also start punching me. Though so that's one thing I haven't added. I haven't actually added the um, melee damage. He does the attack, I just haven't added the melee damage. Um, obviously if I try and run away, he then uses his ranged attack. And I can charge up my bow. The actual damage as well also increases with the uh, pullback. And one thing to note is that um, these projectiles that I made for the enemy are lock-ons. Though if you hit them, you, well you can hit them out of the sky. So if I charge my bow and he fires that at me and then I can just kind of shoot it out. It looks a bit clunky because it just kind of disappears. Obviously, no animations yet on things, but like, also yeah, if I I can overshoot it quite easily with the bow. I mean, I, yeah, I can also run behind cover, which is obviously a good thing to do. So yeah, obviously I can charge up like this, and the bow works. There's nothing more to show to that. I can obviously work, expand upon it. Um, and the enemies now. The last thing I want to show you is the cool new effect, which fingers crossed will work. Rock hill. So if you remember, it used to be just you click and the rock goes up and it comes down. Here's a rock. I could actually make that shatter when it just hits nothing, but I wanna. I've made it so that when it collides with an enemy or something, it then shatters to pieces. So here's an enemy. If I summon it here, it then crashes down and shatters into loads of pieces. Um, I know it's quite simple, and I can still make this look better, but I just really love. Like, look at that. That was so satisfying. If I played that back in slow mo, then that would be one of the most satisfying things to ever see. I might actually do that after this video, <laughs> but anyway. Um, I don't know, I just love this move, it's so simple, just a rock goes up and it locks on the closest enemy. But then having the shatter effect, now, yeah, these do, like, s last forever. Uh, I'm gonna die to this projectile. Oh, I leveled up, that was lucky. <laughs> uh, I can easily just put scripts on these, you know, to make them all disappear after a certain amount of time. But I feel like I'm gonna do that with uh, an animation thing, where maybe they kind of shrink or just go down into the ground or something, just a way to clean get them get rid of them without just popping them out of existence because it doesn't look very nice if you just do that um but yeah i do like all these effects like obviously this is making a spell look better i've got the bow working and i can make it better some more content um I've also got obviously the enemies now so we can make more enemies and because i've sorted out the whole movement system and animation thing when i make new enemies it'll be so much faster to set it all up so that's also going to be fun um, I don't think there's much more else to uh, show, to be honest. I think I've said everything. Uh, I'm curious what this little dot is over. Oh, so it's actually some gold that must have flown over here. Or was the, there might have been an enemy there, I can't remember. Um, yeah, the gold thing works. Obviously, you've got health potions. Uh, one thing, okay, the things I want to add, I'm, the, now that I've basically finished, I'm going to just talk about what I'm going to be working on adding. I'm going to add it so that when I click on an item and drag it out of my inventory, we drop the item on the floor physically. So basically putting the health potion back on the floor. Um, I'm going to make it so that the bow has ammunition and uses arrows, whether they're in your inventory or your hotbar. Um, I might make it so that it uses arrows on your hotbar, 
so that you can then choose what arrows to use. Like if you had um, fire arrows, for example, you could put those on your hotbar and you would use those. I feel like that's a good idea. I can always make exceptions so that like if I don't have any arrows on my bar, it then decides to use them for the inventory and so on. Um, I can think about that in different ways. It's going to be fun to add, um, but also quite painful because using the inventory system and there's so many like different arrays and places items are stored and it's, it's quite it's quite annoying, but you know, it'll be worth in the end. So I can drop items, I can use ammunition, I will make the bows yeah, actually be able to use different arrows depending on which ones I've got ready. Um, I also have to make like poison effects. I kind of already have that with corruption, the spell I can apply a dot to an enemy, so that should be easy enough. Um, I'll also make arrows that maybe like have knockback arrows and you know whatever arrows like different ones people can think of. Could even have like a teleport arrow where if I uh, use it and it hits an enemy, it then places it in front of me. I, you know, dif different things. People can give, give suggestions. I am willing to take any criticism or compliments or any anything, um, preferably you know constructive things uh, to add or do with things I've already got to make them better. You know, I want to make this as good as possible. Um, Understandably, uh, animations and like the artistic side aren't gonna be as good as they could be if I had an actual team of people. But um, yeah, I think it's still pretty impressive how it is. Um, so yeah, I don't think there's much more I'll say. Obviously, there will be more things that I just mentioned then to fix or to add. Um, one thing to fix is you know the game working in build and run. But hey, I'll sort that out some other time. At least it works in the editor um, and still get things done. But yeah, I think that's everything. So uh, the usual things before I leave, obviously if you want to see more of this, uh, then obviously leave a like and subscribe. That would help me quite a bit. And also let me know that you like these kind of videos, these showcase videos. And obviously the same goes with all the other videos, whether you want more Unity tutorials or Python tutorials or whatever tutorials. Um, and also if you want to join our Discord in the uh, in the description, then that's a place where we you know showcase our own things, discuss, ask questions, you know, get help uh, related to games or the other things i'm doing like a uh, discord bot and python tutorials and uh, unity I, f I think i'm blabbering on a bit too much here but you know just do what do whatever you want me saying this probably isn't going to influence you but uh you know you know if you subscribe then yeah i'd love you a lot anyway that's a bit cringy goodbye